Hi! Today we are continuing our topic color reduction and we will talk about watercolor print. Last time we spoke about flat color print. What kind of print do we call watercolor and what is the difference between watercolor print and flat color print? Before working with print, let's open Raw's image from internet. It's just random photograph, and when you look closer, you barely can distinguish how many colors it has. Look, here is dark red, here is light red, here is something in between. In other words, it has a lot of half tones, and at the first glance, it's very difficult to make color separation for it. However, we are going to make it available for print production. We will try to separate colors for this print, so we can print it on fabric, color by color using rotary printing. And as we remember, for this purpose we need no more than 11 colors plus ground and as less colors as possible to low fabric price. So first, as usual, I duplicate the image and put copy aside. Zoom in original image, go to image mode, index the color. Don't forget to click preview. How many colors we are going to put? Well. It's hard to say, 11 is a maximum, but this rose has only red tones. It's definitely too luxuriantly to use 11 colors for monochromatic print. What if we decide to add some green leaves or some other elements? Let's put 8. One detail, your image has transparent background. Let's keep it transparent. It can help to keep edges cleaner. So how do you like it? I'm not sure I do, because we lost all gradation which makes our rows alive dimensional. Important, we cannot use gradation effect in index of color. We cannot use even gradation too. What we can do? There is only one way to mimic color gradation. Use stippling effect. Let's go backward. Again, go to image mode index of color. In either window, put diffusion. Try several diffusion amount. And you can see how gradation effect appears on your print. Try small one first, maybe 25. If it's not enough, try 40, 50. I like 45. Important, don't put too high number. In this case, colors may diffuse too much into each other and we will have such a dirty area. Please look closer, it's not acceptable. Now we have the new rose, which looks much better it's almost as real as original one. But if you think it's not perfect enough, you can always enhance it. Stay in index color mode. Choose brush. In mode, choose dissolve. And choose airbrush option. It allows you to paint with stippling. You can always adjust the stippling density using different opacity. See, your rose is ready for production and you can use it as a placement print or you can make a repeat out of it. Now, what if we have the existing print, which was put in repeat already, and we want to make a color separation for production? Let's open our floral print in straight repeat. Duplicate and put copy aside as always. 
it's a great example because our floral print is definitely watercolor. If you can look closer, you see a lot of color gradation and it's difficult to indicate amount of colors because of many half tones. Go to image mode index color. Let's look at index color window. This print is multicolor, very multicolor. So it needs to have as many colors as possible. Otherwise, we will lose its beautiful design. Look, try five, six, eight. As we know already, the highest number of colors we can use is 12, 11 plus ground. Let's put 12, keep the fusion 45. Not bad, right? Looks almost as original. But if you look closer, you see a lot of messy areas. Try to avoid it, because remember, even if it looks normal on screen and even on paper, it will definitely look dirty on fabric because of bleeding through the fabric structure. Yes, we need stippling to mimic gradation effect, but it needs to be small area between colors. Try to not cover a large area with stippling. Another trick, stippling area needs to have gradation of stippling density, so on fabric it will look like real gradation. So, because of that, we see this area is fine, this area definitely is not good. So, what to do? Maybe we can change the fusion. Let's try 30, 20. In this case, we can clean some areas, but we are losing gradation in others. So, only one solution I can suggest, it increase the amount of colors. Photoshop can separate colors in better way if it's wider range and we will eliminate some colors later or we will try to double up some of them. Let's put 22 in color window and make a diffusion 20 and check transparency because we are using white background. Looks much better. No missing elements, no dirty areas. Almost perfect, but we have to get rid of 10 unwanted colors and keep only 12. So go to image mode, color table. We see all 22 colors, which ones we are going to kill. I usually go color by color first and see what color is used least. Start with ground, it's white. Find white swatch. To be sure we click the correct swatch, replace it with some bright color temporary. See, it's definitely the correct one. But please don't click OK, otherwise we will have royal blue background. Then we see one more white. Make it royal blue. It's only in some tiny area. So if we eliminate it, it will not affect our design at all. How to do this? Just replace it with white. Then let's try another very light color. We can replace it with white also. It affects our flowers a bit, but we can sacrifice it. Now, we have successfully killed two colors, but we still have 22 swatches in the window. Next step, click OK, go to Image Mode RGB, then go back to Image Mode Indexed Color. Now we see palette exact and amount of colors 20. Now let's continue to kill other colors one by one. Let's find another light color, this one. Replace it with blue, and now we see it's very small area. It's not very important for design. Let's replace it with this light color, okay? Our design is almost the same. Let's choose another color. This is very pretty light color, yellow, but I don't think it's very important. And again, it's very small area and we can successfully replace it with this one. It looks even better because this area is more solid. Now, we have so many tones of leaves. Do we need so many? Not really. Let's try to replace, let's say, this color. It's not a big area. With, let's say, this color, okay? And we have some brown area. It's very pretty, but we can sacrifice it. Let's select brown and replace it with green. Now select this one and replace it with this bright green. See, this looks even much better. Now let's see how many colors we've killed. Let's click OK. Go to Image Mode RGB. 
then go back image mode index the color. See, we have only 16, which is better than 20. We still have four unwanted colors. Go to image mode color table. Let's eliminate this bright orange. Click on bright orange and let's replace it with this yellow. Not so bad. Now we have a lot of pinks. Probably we don't need so many pinks. Let's start with light pink. It's kind of big area, but we still can eliminate it and replace it with this light pink. Not bad. Let's try another light pink. We can eliminate it and we can replace it with this light pink. Okay, let's see what left. Okay, image mode RGB. Then go back image mode index the color. We have 13. Click OK and go to color table. I think we still have at least one color we can eliminate. If we are not sure which one we can kill, we can go one by one and temporarily replace it with blue. No, this color we definitely need. This is also. Let's see this one. Maybe we forgot to eliminate some of the light colors when we killed all light colors. Mm, definitely, it's very small area and probably we forgot to eliminate it. Let's replace it with white. It's easier. Let's click OK. Go to image mode RGB and go back image mode index the color. Now we have 12 colors. It's definitely what we want to achieve. Now I'd like to show you another trick. We really want our flowers to look really watercolor. So we want gradation to be smooth, gentle, realistic. And because of elimination, some half tones, we've got some abrupt areas. Can we fix it? Easy. Look at this flower. We'd like this area to be more smooth. Go to Image Mode RGB. Select this color in the middle. Tolerance 0, Contiguous, Unchecked. Pick Next Darker Color. Fill it with Paint Bucket. Then select Next Lighter Color. Go to Fill, Foreground, Normal, 50%. And here we go. We got new color which create a perfect transition between these two. If you have any concern about other areas, you can fix it in the same way. But for me, it's fine now. Then, you can adjust your print with dissolved airbrush. Go back to index the color just in case to be sure we still have 12 colors and use dissolved paintbrush. After some reduction, your artwork is pretty enough.
We assume it's in a repeater already. So go select all, edit, define pattern, create a new file, go edit, fill, pattern. Voila! We have a watercolor print in straight repeat with color separation completely prepared for production. In four previous chapters we were talking about prints. Next time let's talk about yarn dye fabric, stripes and plates. See you soon!